It's 2010. The annual Evolution Championship Series, commonly known as EVO, is being held at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada. The recently released Super Street Fighter 4 is the main headliner, with around 1,800 players dueling for a guaranteed prize pool of $20,000. And it only gets better from there. Not only were players agreed to a playable sneak peek of Marvel vs. Capcom 3, another mashup was in the making. In attendance was Street Fighter 4 producer Yoshinori Ono and longtime Tekken producer Katsuhiro Harada, teasing a game they were working on together, with more on this project to be announced at 2010 San Diego Comic Con. Skip ahead to San Diego Comic Con and Super Street Fighter 4 has a panel at the event led by Ono, but this is unexpectedly interrupted by Harada, who takes the opportunity to hand out free copies of Tekken 6 to the crowd. People are confused, cheering and booing, ready for a fight. The two rival producers meet up together, each dressed as characters from their respective series. It's there the surprise mashup of Street Fighter Cross Tekken is announced with a teaser trailer and very early gameplay footage. People are excited, and there's reason to be because Bandai Namco would follow this up with Tekken Cross Street Fighter. This wasn't the first or last time Capcom and Bandai Namco teamed up. The first was Namco Cross Capcom, a 2005 Japanese-only PlayStation 2 tactical role-playing game. Then, with its successor, 2012's Project Cross Zone, and its 2015 sequel on the Nintendo 3DS. But this was the ultimate collaboration with two of the biggest fighting games out there, though it may have been too little too late for this ultimate mashup. While both series were and still are immensely popular, at the time, they maybe weren't at the height of their popularity as they once were. But this was an ambitious project. The games would complement one another. This was never seen before and it would have been an exciting collaboration if it all went smoothly. Capcom Street Fighter Cross Tekken was released in 2012. It features similar cell shading to Street Fighter 4, plays in the series standard 2D style with players now fighting in tag team battles with certain teams having quotes and scenes if they're naturally partnered. The game had an impressive launch roster of 38 characters, 19 from each franchise, with 12 additional fighters later added. And if you were a PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita player, you were greeted to the exclusive characters of Pac-Man, Mega Man, Toro and Kuro from Japan's Doko Demo Isio series, and Cole from Infamous. While the idea of two fighting juggernauts work well together, the game story is largely forgettable. An object crash lands in Antarctica, and when conflict happens around the object, named Pandora, the fighters are enhanced with more power. Not as exciting or engaging as it could be, most characters will have a standard story to follow, but specific teams like Ryu and Ken will have a change in their story with new or altered scenes. Street Fighter Cross Tekken was well received by critics, but to Capcom, the game underperformed by about 40%, selling over 1 million copies two months after release, and by March 2014, the game was around 1.7 million. Today, some fondly reflect on the potential the game had, but didn't quite deliver, though the ambitious crossover is mostly forgotten and part of that is likely due to a significant oversaturation in the marketplace of fighting games. Street Fighter 4 reignited a stagnant genre, making fighting games exciting and relevant again. Capcom surely saw the amount of money they could make with the massive number of new titles and re-releases they themselves released in a short number of years. It overwhelmed consumers and led to fighting fatigue. This oversaturation is the excuse Capcom gave to Street Fighter Cross Tekken's performance, despite Capcom being the top provider of this, like the never-ending re-releases of Street Fighter 4, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, and whatever digital-only releases they had. If the game is remembered for anything, it's for its controversy. The inclusion of Mega Man, the hideous North American box art version, could have been a funny joke if Capcom hadn't recently cancelled an anticipated Mega Man game. For many, it felt like they were being trolled. But more importantly, during this time, Capcom had a habit of releasing their games with most or all further DLC already on disc. The only way to unlock this DLC was naturally by purchasing the DLC. This caused huge backlash, prompting Capcom to defend their choice, but they would eventually reevaluate this on later game releases. So for Tekken Cross Street Fighter to follow all of this, there was likely pressure. Originally set to release on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, by that point, everyone had moved on to the next generation, so the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One was planned. Street Fighter Cross Tekken showed what would happen if Capcom translated Tekken into Street Fighter, but what happens when Tekken's developers bring Street Fighter into the world of Tekken with its 3D arenas? Well, very little was ever released on the game. 
there was never any trailers or gameplay footage released, we can confirm from the promotional image shown at Gamescom 2010 that Jin Kazama and Ryu were confirmed, with likely appearances of Devil Jin and Evil Ryu, possibly being a plot device. There are sketches of Ryu and Chun-Li basically confirming her as well, and a prototype in-game model of Ryu, and that's all that's ever been shown. By April 2012, the game was around 10% complete. Keep in mind that Street Fighter Cross Tekken came out a month prior in March, so Tekken Cross Street Fighter was very early in development. 2014 San Diego Comic Con confirmed the game was still in development despite silence on the project, and another statement in 2015 would reconfirm this. But then, development of Tekken Cross Street Fighter was halted in 2016 with the game about 30% completed. At the time, Capcom was coming out with Street Fighter V and Bandai Namco with Tekken 7. This pause was done to not take away any development time from either of those main games into the spin-off. In 2017, Tekken 7 released to consoles, and with that, Akuma from Street Fighter was included. But this was more than a simple, playable guest character. Akuma had a special surprise appearance in the story. According to Harada, some of the animations created for Tekken Cross Street Fighter were reused for Akuma's Tekken 7 appearance, and could be a sign that the character was planned for the crossover. Tekken 7 saw immense success. It's become the highest selling entry of the series, surpassing 10 million in sales, beating 1997's Tekken 3 at 8.36 million copies. With four season passes containing new characters, stages, and other extras, it's clear Tekken 7 was not only popular, but also profitable. After asking fans if they were still waiting for Tekken Cross Street Fighter in 2019 on Twitter, Harada explained that it was difficult to justify releasing a new fighting game at the time when Tekken 7 was doing so well. Typically, fighting games only have a year or two in their life cycle until a sequel has to be made, but Tekken 7 and Street Fighter 5 proved otherwise, finding success for a number of years thanks to continuous updates and new characters. After all, in business, if something is currently successful and making a ton of money, you don't want to overshadow that with something new that may not reach similar success. And by the time 2019 came around, a lot was against the game from actually happening. While Harada was still emotionally up for creating and releasing Tekken Cross Street Fighter, too many things changed since 2012. New approval was needed from Harada's higher-ups, Capcom needs to be spoken to again, and there's a chance of Capcom declining. Most recently, the last time the game was ever spoken about was on Harada's Bar, a YouTube show where the producer speaks to various guests. In 2021, he confirmed the game to be shelved but not cancelled, despite an error in his English translation saying the game was cancelled. He later clarified the game was not permanently cancelled, giving some kind of relief for those of us still waiting. Despite all this, it's hard to believe Tekken Cross Street Fighter hasn't in some way been cancelled. We're over a decade past Street Fighter Cross Tekken, multiple Street Fighter and Tekken sequels have been released, the project's only at 30% completion and on pause since 2016, Animations were reused for Akuma's appearance in Tekken 7, and the game now needs new approval from Capcom and Bandai Namco. It doesn't look good, even with Harada's continuous openness about the project, and I'm sure Street Fighter Cross Tekken's underwhelming commercial performance had an impact. At this point, it sometimes feels like we're being teased about a passion project that won't happen. Tekken Cross Street Fighter is just one of those titles you hear something about every few years and aren't surprised at the news heard because very little is ever said and it's usually the same stuff. Maybe it'll be like The Last Guardian or Duke Nukem Forever, games stuck in development hell that eventually see the light of day. And now with Capcom on Street Fighter 6, their hands long washed clean of Street Fighter Cross Tekken and Bandai Namco gearing up for Tekken 8, the focus of both companies is clear the long-lasting future of their individual franchises, and it isn't on Bandai Namco getting Tekken Cross Street Fighter developed and out to the public. We're going to see Street Fighter 6 and Tekken 8 for a long while. The window of opportunity, if there ever was one, for them to follow up with their interpretation has been long gone, though it would still be interesting to see how the characters of Street Fighter and their fighting style translates into the world of Tekken. There's always a possibility we could see it, or more than likely a new version of it in the future. Who knows, maybe a random trailer drops out of the blue and causes the internet to go into a frenzy, but I wouldn't expect any further details on the project like plot lines, characters, or stages because there's always the chance the project could be restarted in the future and any reveal on that would be spoiled. But let me know your thoughts on this ultimate collaboration in the comments below. Do you ever think Tekken Cross Street Fighter will ever be released? What did you think of Street Fighter Cross Tekken? 
please be sure to like and subscribe for future content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.